So this Hunter Pro HC is replacing this Rainbird ESP we've got on the wall here. Welcome to Thrifty Garage. Today I've got a new series I'd like to start. I'd like to start a Pro Series video. Uh, for my employment, I'm a landscaper. So let's take a look inside here. So inside I've got my uh, user manual on a piece of cardboard and I've got a few zones wired up and I've got some extra wires. Uh, you can see here you've got uh, the same traditional uh, wiring set up. Uh, so you can see here I've got two common wires. I've got zones two, three, and four wired up as well as zone six. So as we're getting ready to switch this over what we should really do is go through and see what our current run times are for. Uh, currently I've got zone 1 set up for 0 minutes, zone 2 set up for 45, zone 3 set up for 20, zone 4 set up for 45, zone 5 for 0, and zone 6 for 0. Now I want to check all my programs, so if we go to program B, zone 6 is at 20, 5 is 0, 4 is 0, 3 zero, two, and one all are zero. You know, I can also go through and see what my current uh, cycle run times are for, what days of the week. And right now, I've got it set up on Sunday off. So, Thursday's on, Monday's on. So I'm running two days a week on Monday and Thursday mornings. Uh, and you know, you can look at the start time. I'm running at three o'clock in the morning on program B. I'm running at 4 o'clock in the morning on program A, and I've currently got no run times on program C. So that's, uh, you know, all the information I need from the controller before I unplug it from the wall. So I can return that to auto. Coming inside, we want to take a picture of the inside here. Uh, you know, this is kind of hidden back behind here, so if I get a different angle, just make sure I get all my colors right. I should be able to rehicle this up with no issues. And as you can see here, I'm a very organized person. I don't want to cut off this extra wire. I want to keep it inside the box, but I've used additional wires to wrap and really make this a clean install. And that certainly will help with the new install. I may need to modify the way I've got those set up, but I know none of these wires are stripped. I've only got this yellow stripped, these two commons, the blue, brown, and the black stripped. Uh, so I know those are the only ones that need to be hooked up. Before I can take this controller down from the wall, I need to kill power. Uh, as you can see here, I've got this power line running in, and that runs down to this light switch right here. And it's got direct power all the time, doesn't matter if the lights are on or off, and that's where it's getting its power from. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the power in the garage, and inside this box, I will disconnect the power. Go ahead and turn this to off, and then I will remove this panel. That comes out, and there we go. So these wires are hot right now, so I don't want to be touching anything, so I'll go ahead and kill that power. Now that I've got the power off, I can go ahead and remove this faceplate. So I can pull this out. Get that out of my way. Now that I've got these all pulled out, I'm going to separate these wires and put these wire nets back on so I can restore power temporarily and have some light. Okay, now that we've got that taken care of, I can go ahead and remove this from the wall. So before I remove this from the wall, I'm going to want to disconnect these controller wires. I 
just had one screw left in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. So now I've got this blank slate here to install this new controller. So I can put it right here where this other one was. So the mounting on these, we've got this slot bracket, and then we've got these three on the bottom, which uh, you punch a screw through on the other side. So you can see here on the inside where those screws go in. So one can go in here, one can go in here, and then I'm assuming there's one behind um, this power. Go ahead and throw a level up top here. Make sure it's a nice, clean, professional job. There we go. Those two screws should be sufficient. Well, there it is, all mounted up. Looks good. Now it's wired up. Okay, I'm gonna pull off this cover. Again, unlike the Rainbird controller, this is just a faceplate. Nice, should be able to just go ahead and easily remove this. Got full access to this. Remove that screw. Now I've got access to wire up the power. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the power again and we'll go ahead and wire that up. Green for ground. Got a good tug for safe measure. White to white, black to black. Restore power. Well, second that thing got powered up, we've got this connection wizard. Okay, here's that initial screen that comes up when you power up the unit. We can configure offline, we can configure. Uh, wireless internet or we can exit wizard. I'm going to go ahead and configure online. Scan for wireless networks. Okay. Confirm. Enter the password. I entered my password. So we've got good Wi-Fi signal there. Controller is successfully connected to the internet. There's my serial number. Hit OK. So I'm going to go ahead and finish connecting these wires up. So I've got my phone here with my picture. I'm just going to set this to the side. Blue hooks up to station number two. This is a nice firm connection, being this is a commercial grade controller. And just as a side note, I've got two different strands of wire and they're going to different boxes. Brown next, then black and then yellow for six. So that screen was uh, not touched for a while and it blanked out. Now we've got the option to touch to activate. So power saving mode. Really nice clean install. Very transparent to see what wires go to what numbers. And uh, just for those that are curious, uh, I'm missing zone one and five. Those are zones that are going to be installed in the future. In the front, I'm missing a zone. I need to install that. I need to install the lateral line and heads and a valve. As well as in the backyard, I'm missing a valve here. So as we take a look in this box here, you can see a little bit better uh, the wiring. Uh, the, we've got the two common wires and then the rest of them hooked up. Up top here, we've got uh, sensor common wire. We've got sensor one and sensor two. And this is where 
um, the power comes in. So the power comes in the bottom of the controller, into here, and up into here. There's my install video on the Hydrowise Pro HC controller. And one last thing before we forget, let's put this faceplate back on. Hide all my wires. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this on.